my name is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is A Roaring Rescue Daniel and the Lion's Dead. Let's read. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them into captivity. They destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of Jewish to their own country, Babylon. So God's people disobeyed God again, so he let them enemies to take them over. And they carried away many of Jews to their own country, Babylon. Daniel was one of Jewish in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was one of Jewish in Babylon. And he was wise because of God's help. God has helped. God blessed Daniel because he prayed it to him three times a day and obeyed God. So God bless Daniel. So Daniel became a powerful leader in that country. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Jerus. Whoever disobeyed would be thrown into the lion's den. Jerus agreed. So some people, uh, some leaders were jealous because Daniel was not bad. He was Jewish and Daniel was very powerful leader. So some of the leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new role. They knew that Daniel prayed three times a day to God. So they made a new rule that whoever this uh, people could only pray to King Jerus, and whoever disobeyed would be thrown into lion's den. And the king agreed. Christian, God blessed Daniel and made him powerful leader in Babylon. True, God blessed Daniel because Daniel prayed them and obeyed God. We have found the Bible gem. Self-control. Daniel still prayed to God, so he was arrested. Darius was sad because he liked Daniel. He realized he had been tricked, but he couldn't change the rule. Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. So Daniel still prayed to God. He even when he even knew the rule. So the who was jealous to Daniel, the wise man told Jerus that Daniel is praying to God, and he Jerus he knew that he was tricked, it, but he couldn't um, change the new rule. 
So Daniel was thrown into the lion's that Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. What do you think will happen? The lions roared and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut his shut lion's mouth. Daniel said, I spent the night there unharmed. So the lions roared and crept to Daniel. And the an angel arrived. It was God. God has sent him. The angel shut his mouth, uh, shut the lion's mouth, and Daniel snap, uh, spent the night there on un unharmed. God has helped Daniel because God has got news that God ha Daniel has prayed them. He has done the right thing. Question: Was Daniel arrested and thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God? Yes, true. Daniel was arrested and thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God. Even he knew the rule. He had prayed to God. At the dark, uh, at the daybreak, Darius went to see if Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me. Daniel said the king was thrilled. Daniel was pulled out of the den. So at the daybreak, Daniel and uh, Darius went to see Daniel was alive because he, he was so sad because that he liked Daniel. He was mm. and he have gone to that the lion's that to check Daniel is alive. And Daniel was alive, he said. God sent me an angel and saved me. And he was not harmed by the lions. Then King Jerus had Daniel's enemies thrown into the lion's den. The lion grabbed them up. King Jerus told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. So then King Jerus had Dani Dan Daniel's enemies thrown into the lion's den. And King Jerus told everyone to Honor Daniel's powerful living God. You should also love God and obey Him. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, God's angel protected him from what kind of animal? Number one, the donkey. Number two, eagle. Number three, the lion. Number three was the correct answer. When Daniel was thrown into the lion's den, God's angel protected him from the lions. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another ghost story? Then let's see you next time. Bye!